The people I spoke with today agree that the violence has to stop, and they say there are ways for Tucsonans to help. The feelings that came from the news breaking Saturday morning were universal. It's a really scary moment for our family and friends and um, people in Israel. I was very sad and shocked uh, knowing that a lot of innocent people are going to, to, uh, to suffer. And with Israel being over 7,000 miles away from Tucson, it's easy for people to feel helpless. It's just absolutely horrific what's going on uh, in Israel, this terrorist attack, and I'm scared, wanted to reach out to all of our family and friends there, see what was going on, if there was any ways that we could be helpful. Jewish Philanthropies of Southern Arizona is seeking donations to help aid Israel from across the world, hoping to pay for funeral funds, mental health services, reconstruction, and more. These are citizens, these are civilians who are targeted, um, and they're humans just like all of us. On the other side, Palestinians here in Tucson want to use this moment and these immediate reactions to shine light on their desire for policy change in the U.S. Killing innocent people, Israelis and Palestinians, is the direct consequence to our foreign policy. The unconditional support of Israel gives it no incentive to work for peace. All eyes have been on this battle overseas, and both groups I spoke to say retaliation here at home is a worry. Something that I know our security teams are looking at and monitoring um, and our, our organizations are monitoring. I think there's always that opportunity The anti-Semitism is at the highest uh, rate it's been for many, many years. And so I think it's really important to keep an um, eye out for that. But for both Israelis and Palestinians in the old Pueblo, the overall vision remains the same. In order to come to a resolution, violence and aggression aren't the solution. We need to be help each other, protect each other. That's how we make change, okay? Change doesn't come through conflict. It's called, it, it comes through cooperation and collaboration. You can find more information about both organizations on our website at KOLD.com. Reporting in studio, Katherine Patterson, back to you.